Good morning, Denny. It is um, Friday, January 30th, and by the time you probably watch this, I will be in the lovely city of St. Louis. Fun fact, um, it is actually Thursday night. You are experienced currently late night Parker, where the puff levels are extremely high. I swear, today my hair was perfectly flat, but lots has happened since then. I actually just got back from a four-hour meeting filled with semantics and all, and not to say that I don't love what the meeting was about, it's just that four hours was a pretty long time for me to be taking notes on a meeting because I'm the secretary in that organization, and as much as I love the responsibility, it was not my first choice. In addition to that, one of my close friends had a grandmother pass away last night, and I was very helpless to support her as I was taking a very, very long nap, mm -hmm. and I did not even wake up, and I feel really bad because of that. In addition to that, I have many deadlines tomorrow, a six-hour trip, as you could guess, um, and overall, I just am under a lot of pressure recently. But on a more enjoyable note, I would like to talk to you about um, mental illnesses, as you so brilliantly highlighted in your video yesterday. I think many people have the misconception that uh, mental illness is like strictly schizophrenia or something where someone is a very apparent danger to their, themselves or others. Um, people don't usually think of anxiety or mild depression. I, I say mild depression, I meant clinical depression, because there's no such thing as mild depression. It's how we choose to view it. And something that people don't often consider is that someone with a mental illness might be on medication and be very functional. They might not think that, wow, this person is much more than just you know, their illness, they are a person with their own personality. And I like to believe that even if there's mental illness involved, if two people are truly meant for each other, that love will find a way. Life is not easy for those who have mental or physical handicaps. And I think we as a society do try and should try to make their lives seem as functional and normal as possible, even though normal is a very relative term. What could be chaos for the fly is order to the spider, as they say. My opinion on the matter is that love will find a way. That if two souls are meant to be together, that nothing can stop them. Not hell, high water, or even society. Danny, I hope to see you tomorrow. DFTBA.